back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am drinking a cider because I finally went to the store and I finished off all the black cherry lemonade. <laughs> this week I thought it would be fun to just kind of get back to the basics and do an acrylic pour painting. After all the Christmas presents and Christmas ornaments and different alcohol ink projects, I thought it would be fun to just slap some paint down on a canvas and do an acrylic pour painting. We are going to be using uh, the rotating cake stand that I have, so we're going to be making some spin art. So if you're interested in see what we're making this week, please stick around. Now last time, it was actually quite a while ago, <laughs> we used one of these triangle canvases I painted one of them black and I showed my fiance and he said that it reminded him an awful lot of the Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon cover. And of course my gears started turning and I thought that this week we could do a painting that's kind of inspired by the Dark Side of the Moon album cover. And we are still, like I said, going to be using the rotating cake stand. So it's going to kind of be like a spin art rainbow if you know what the album cover looks like. So we're just going to jump right into it. I have already painted my triangle black. In addition to that, I have taped up the bottom and I've also taped it to my cake stand. So it's not going to like wobble around on us while we're trying to spin. For those of you who have never seen or know what the album cover for Dark Side of the Moon looks like, it is light refracting through a like a triangle prism and on the other side it's coming out as a rainbow. So we have a lot of colors that we are dealing with today. An entire rainbow, in fact. We also have white because the prism that the light is traveling through is white colored so I wanted to have some white at least just a little bit somewhere in this painting. So we are gonna start with our big old puddle of black right there in the middle. I'm gonna try to like spread it around just a little bit and then I'm going to put a little more of a puddle in the center because that's where we're going to be adding all of our colors. And we're just going to go in rainbow order. So we're just going to start with some red. And then we're gonna pour some of our black in the center. And we're gonna blow it out. Mm, I don't like that. Why is my black chunky? Doesn't look chunky in my cup. Maybe we can try that again. It turned out a little better. I guess we're just gonna kinda let it rebalance out into the center and I'm gonna move all of my cups out of the way. Okay, it looks like it's pretty close to the center. I don't know. That The way the black paint reacted there at the beginning, I didn't really like that. So I'm not really sure how, how this is gonna turn out. I guess we could always scrape off and try again. <laughs> 
All right, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a spin. Hmm, it kind of turned to mud. Let's spin it the opposite way. cool there's all sorts of rainbow stuff going on I'm gonna try to spin it again I still have some black on these corners and some black on these corners I meant like not filled in black. <laughs> the whole canvas is black. Let me see if I can... I'm trying to get it to sort of stretch different ways. heat gun, see what cells come up. Well, not a lot. <laughs> it's kind of crazy looking. It looks all like, obviously it looks like a rainbow or it's got all the different colors placed around in there. We did a, ended up doing a double before with our like portal green one. I did it twice, or I spun it twice. I'm gonna try to do it again. Can't hurt, can it? Looking at the painting, like, in the camera, it just looks ridiculous. Okay, let's go ahead and try again. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna spin the other way. One more, just for funsies. Let's give it one more just for good measure. Maybe it just looks so chaotic because of all the paint that flew everywhere. Maybe it's distracting me. Well, I think it's super crazy. 
super rainbowy, but I don't mind it. I think the way I'm looking at it right now, from here, it looks kind of okay. As per usual, we are going to wait until this is fully dry. I'm going to go ahead and gloss it up and we will come back when it is all finished. The inspiration for this painting originally was the Dark Side of the Moon album cover. And so in my head, I had this vision of a very structured, laid out rainbow. And I don't know why I thought that because we made spin art. So looking at the finished piece, it's very blown out and everywhere, which is fine. It's just kind of different w than what I expected. Kind of reminds me of like a space nebula or something. You can still see, we still have the full rainbow of colors, but I really like the way that it turned out, even though it was different than what I thought we were gonna get. Artsy Madwoman does this thing, uh, she's known for dumping glitter in everything <laughs> and even in her top coats. And so I thought when I glossed up this painting that I would throw some glitter into it. And so it kind of also adds to the space effect because it sort of looks like stars to me. I'll still give you guys some nice up close shots at this painting outside in the natural light. Although this turned out differently than I planned, I really love it and now I have a cool new triangle painting to hang behind us. And that does mean that I might have to try out some different techniques to get the more structured rainbow of what I was originally visioning. So more video ideas for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also hit that notification bell to be notified every Friday when I upload a video. The links for my Instagram and my Facebook page are down in the description box below as well as my PayPal account if you feel like contributing to the channel. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Cheers!